First one is hands down DID. I've mentioned this tool in a previous video and it's the exact same tool AI meme creators have been using to generate artificial intelligence Valenciaga memes. At the time of making this video, the original fashion memes have now seemed to progress into gym memes and more, but the tool they're using to animate images is none other than DID. Briefly put, the tool allows you to upload an image, upload a script, choose a voice or upload your own and voila, you've just turned an image into a live speaking and moving video. As I mentioned, one of the biggest use cases at the moment is AI memes. However, I'm certain that there's people using it for something a little bit more serious, like corporate video presentations and more. They have a free tier, which lets you test the tool entirely for free without having to pay, but they do have some limitations on the images that you can upload. If you try to upload an image of Donald Trump, for example, you'll receive an error saying something along the lines of this being a well-known public figure and that they need to manually review the script and the use case before they can let you proceed. But it's a cool tool nonetheless. And I'm assuming that the AI meme niche is growing their company like crazy as demand for AI memes picks up even more. Oh, and the tool used to generate AI voice models, if you're wondering, is Eleven Labs, which is another cool AI tool that lets you upload any voice, train a model, and then have the voice say whatever you want. Next up, we've got AutoGPT, and this tool really is something. Over the past few weeks, this tool has taken the entire AI industry over like a craze. It's grown immensely and literally everybody's talking about it. This tool is essentially a Python based version of ChatGPT that works with numerous versions of ChatGPT at once and also gives it the ability to connect to the internet. Works a little differently from the usual way people work with ChatGPT as in it doesn't work by you entering a simple question and receiving an answer. Instead, you program your instance for a certain goal, say researcher GPT, a bot that researches the internet summarizes information and then presents its findings in a PDF file. You then give AutoGPT the goal you'd like it to work on and that's it. AutoGPT will then work on whatever you've set it up to do whilst you're able to focus on other stuff. Now listen, it's not perfect, far from actually, and it has two modes at the present moment. One which lets you work with the 3.5 API and the other which lets you work with the 4 API. Most people at present do not have access to 4, meaning that most are currently working with version 3.5, which is a little inferior to the 4 version. Furthermore, I must also add that AutoGPT frequently breaks and loops, meaning it'll get stuck on something and then just infinitely loop over the problem it's unable to solve. This is exactly why when I use it, I like to spoon feed it with as much info as possible for the completion of the task. And I like to be specific with the goal I set. Cool tool and definitely worth checking out. You do need to be a bit techy to set it up and get it running, but make sure to check out the video I've linked in the card above to learn everything you need to know about AutoGPT. Oh, and make sure to run it in a virtual machine as well as it downloads content from the internet like crazy. And the last thing you need is AI breaking your computer. Next up is voice AI. This is one of the best tools on the market when it comes to changing your voice for calls or for gaming or whatever. It's a downloadable application, which lets you choose from a wide variety of voice models, including Elon Musk, Andrew Tate, and other notable figures, and lets you change your voice to whomever you want. It can be used on WhatsApp calls, Zoom calls, voice recordings, game sessions, you name it. Voice AI does have a free tier, which lets you choose up to three models, if I'm not mistaken taken and then you have to pay for the rest and the tool is good it doesn't break but the success of your voice change really depends on the model itself and the similarity between your talking style and that of the person you're trying to emulate definitely worth knowing and definitely worth testing out next up is runway now this tool caught my attention when i was researching ai tools that have the ability to generate videos from text input nowadays we can use tools like dolly or mid journey to generate high quality believable and fun images from a single sentence but runway is working on something even better generating a full high quality video from a single sentence. This feature is still not available to the public in Runway's tool set, but it's really close to be, which is exactly why I'm mentioning this tool. In addition to the upcoming text to video generator, which Runway Gen 2 will make possible, they've also got an interesting suite of readily available tools that you can start using for free, like the infinite image generator, background removers, face blurrers, and much more. Definitely a cool suite to keep in mind if you work with media, and I reckon these guys have a good chance of becoming the next Canva of AI, at least in the near future. Next up is WebChat GPT. Now, unlike AutoGPT, ChatGPT doesn't officially have inbuilt online access. If you ask it for the latest articles on a certain topic, it will reply with how it doesn't have access to the internet and how its info has been cut off past September 2021. This Chrome extension sort of fixes that. It works very simply. It fetches information from Google, feeds it to ChatGPT for you, all in the context of your prompt. Here's an example of me asking it for the latest info in the tech industry. The extension 
extension formats the query in a structure that includes the information it obtains from the internet, and voila, here's our summary. Excellent tool if you're not too comfortable with using something as techy as AutoGPT, but still want a version of ChatGPT that has internet access too. Last up is specifically version 5 of Midjourney. I covered it recently in one of my videos when I spoke of the super realistic images of politicians being arrested. This was all created with version 5 of Midjourney, till they banned the use of the word arrested in prompts. Generating images on V5 is easy. All you need to do is configure your prompt settings to only generate using V5 or just include the V5 command, which looks a little like this. And then once that's done, you can start generating hyper-realistic photos of whatever you like. The best hyper-realistic prompt for generating a super realistic image of anything is literally just quotation, photo of, and then insert your prompt, quotation mark, simple stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking till the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content related to marketing, growth hacking, business, and artificial intelligence. My name is Kirill Cristales, and I'll catch you on the next one.